Hey guys, we're going to be covering um, quotient rule and how to differentiate using the quotient rule in this session. Let's get started. Okay, so I want to differentiate this function here, 2x squared divided by 3x minus 7. Now what I am going to tell you guys is if you don't want to see this full proof as to how I derived a quotient rule, then by all means skip a couple of minutes and get on to the next slide. But if not, this is how I can actually, I can show you guys how to get to the quotient rule. So what I'm going to do though is first I'm going to show you guys how to get to the quotient rule using the product rule itself. So first up I want to separate this, separate this out. Then what I could do is I can make this as 2x squared multiplied by 3x minus 7 to the power of negative 1. Now, I know that the product rule is f dash g plus f of g dash. So what I've really done here is I've changed um, a fraction into two, a pro uh, two products here, or two functions where it makes a product. So first I'm going to do f of x is 2x squared. So f dash of x is 2x, sorry, 4x. And that's the first one. The second one is g of x, which is 3x minus 7 to the power of negative 1 and using the chain rule I'll differentiate it to get negative 1 3x minus 1 to the power of negative 2 and that's multiplied by the differentiation of inside the bracket which is 3. Now I'm going to substitute these four elements into the product rule formula so let me just simplify this first just to make things easy for me so I've got negative 3 3x negative 7 to the power of minus 2 Okay, substituting these things in here. f dash, which is 4x. g, which is 3x minus 7 to the power of negative 1. Plus, f is just 2x squared. g dash is that big large function at the right at the bottom there, which is negative 3, 3x minus 7 to the power of negative 2. Now, Obviously, at this point, I can leave the answer as it is, but I'm trying to derive, I'm, I'm trying to get a formula for the quotient rule. So, once again, guys, if you can skip this part and just go to the next slide and get the idea behind it, but if not, just stay with me here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this. I've got 4x divided by 3x minus 7 minus 2x squared times 3 divided by 3x minus 7 squared. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the denominators the same. So the term on the left-hand side, I'm going to multiply it by 3x minus 7. As, so I write it down first. Now I'm going to multiply this by 3x minus 7 divided by 3x minus 7. And leave the right-hand side as it is. There we go. Now, the reason I wanted to do it, uh, this particular format, is so that I can simplify it. So I've got 4x multiplied by 3x minus 7 divided by 3x minus 7 squared minus 2x squared times 3 divided by 3x minus 7 squared and of course this could be because they both have common denominators I could write it up as 4x times 3x minus 7 minus 2x squared times 3 and the whole thing divided by 3x minus 7 squared now guys, you don't need to do this <laughs> for a quotient rule. Uh, this is just an example as to how we get to the quotient rule using the product rule. All right, I'm going to discuss a li little bit of this in the next slide and give you guys basically the formula, all right? So here we go. So this is what we uh, this is the function we're trying to differentiate and we ended up with this. There we go. So what, we, what I'm going to do here is I am going to show you guys how to get to that equation. So let's say if we have f divided by g and we want to work out the different, differentiate this function which is f divided by g then what you'd notice is 4x is actually when you differentiate 2x squared which is the numerator when you differentiate the numerator 2x squared you get 4x. So in other words that 4x is f dash. Now we leave the denominator as it is which means, which is 3x minus 7, so that case it's going to be g, and it's minus, now we've got 2x squared, and as you can see, 2x squared is the same as the numerator, so it's going to be f, and that's multiplied by, the differentiation of the denominator, 3x minus 7, is actually 3, which is g. And finally, 
that sorry, which is g dash, and that's all divided by well, you have three x minus seven squared, so it's going to be divided by g squared. And folks, that is that is basic. The, that is basically the formula for um, differentiating using the quotient rule. All right, going to have a look at a quick example, and then we'll call it a session. Okay, we have a question here. Differentiate 3x minus 1 divided by x squared plus 4 using the quotient rule. So I'm just going to write um, a little formula here. There we go. Now, our f of x is going to equal 3x minus 1, which means our f dash of x is equal to 3. Our g of x is going to equal x squared plus 4. So g dash of x is equal to 2x. Now we just need to substitute these four elements in into the right hand side where the equation is. So f dash is 3. That's multiplied by g, which is x squared plus 4, minus f, which is 3x minus 1, multiplied by g dash, which is 2x. And that's all divided by g squared. So x squared plus 4 squared. Now, guys, remember that in uh, differentiation, you do not have to simplify your answers right to the end. So you could actually leave your answer like this, and it will still be correct. But what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to simplify it to the end. If you just want to have a look. So 3x squared plus 12, take away 6x squared minus 2x. And that's all divided by x squared plus 4 whole squared. And simplifying this, I'm going to get minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 12 divided by x squared plus 4 squared. Like I said, guys, you could really just stop at this point right here. Okay, you do not need to simplify it further, but like I said before, it just it's always good practice to simplify further just to get better at your algebra skills. All right, that's all from the session, guys. Thank you for watching.